Y'all, we made it to the Hershey, Pennsylvania RV show. This is actually the first video that I'm making since I got here. And I'm really excited because this is a brand new product for 2024. I drove 23 straight hours basically to make it here to get videos for y'all this entire week at the Hershey RV show. And this here is the brand new 2024 Keystone Outback OBX single axle off-road travel trailer. Let's go take a look. Okay, so for y'all that are new here, my name is Miles, if you don't know who I am, and for y'all that are returning viewers, things are gonna be a little bit different than they normally are because we are at an RV show. Today is the setup day, so today is the only day that I'm really gonna have you know, mostly full rain to do what I need to do without a whole lot of people in the way, but that's not gonna be the case for most of the week. So we're gonna do as quick a filming as I possibly can, just for the sake of me being able to show you as many things as possible while I'm here versus going like very in depth into the product that we're looking at. So I'm still gonna try to give you as much information as I possibly can, but it's not going to be, you know, the full, full, detailed comprehensive review that I like to give. But you're gonna see, I'm still gonna give you all of the things that you wanna see as we go through this travel trailer. So this here is the brand new 2024 Keystone Outback OBX line. And if you're familiar with Outback, they traditionally make really large size travel trailers, things up to like 37, 38 feet. This is their first time stepping into the single axle space. And right now, because it's setup day, there is no pricing displayed. And I don't know, hopefully I'll be able to find pricing information that I can put on screen or in the description down below in the video, but I am being told, and I hope this is accurate, it's gonna be crazy if this is accurate, that this is going to be around the same price point as a lot of other single axle travel trailers out there in the market that do not have a lot of these same options on a travel trailer. So I don't know how that's possible, how they're doing it, but that's what I'm being told. We're gonna to see if that ends up being true in these, you know, when the pricing is revealed on these. But starting up front, Really nice looking fiberglass molded front cap there has a very aggressive look to it. And then the nice OBX logo there, that gold X has kind of like a chrome finish to it. And then you do have the Y rack here. From what I'm being told, there's an additional optional package that you can get on this that includes things like the Y rack, the independent suspension, the all-terrain tires, things like that. So that's what I'm being told. Um, two 20 pound propane bottles up front and two 100 amp hour lithium batteries. So great battery capacity there. And not only that, you have 440 watts of solar on the roof and an inverter through here as well. So this is your pass-through storage compartment. You can see we have some things in here. This looks like a grill or a griddle cooktop right there that's in this compartment. 30 amp solar charge controller, battery or solar disconnect switch there as well. Tire pressure monitoring system and a battery heat switch to heat your lithium batteries. Flam latch baggage door there as well. Love the exterior colors and the OBX graphics. It looks really good. You have the glass entry door, the black glass entry door. And then as we come down this way, you have the Westlake all-terrain tires. This is a BAL independent suspension. So this is gonna be from Norco Industries down underneath here. So a nice suspension system as well. Fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines will sit above that enclosed underbelly. And then that looks like it's also a torsion axle to get this up off the ground a little bit higher. So good ground clearance. Propane quick connect line there as well. And then I opened up the camera so we can just see a little bit more. Um, this looks like it's going to be a water connection source. Yep, that's going to be a water spray port there. TV connections, your grill or griddle can go right here. That's why the propane quick connect line is right there. You're gonna have the connection for the lipper ladder here as well. And then on the other side, you're going to have a Nautilus water management system, very confined and concise, and you are gonna have it access to storage on that side into this bunk area. So this is their bunk model. This is a 17BH. And right away as we walk in. Now, before we go inside, I wanna talk about one thing real quick. A lot of y'all know I have my company Firmly Unbound, and I have a YouTube channel now that is at Firmly Unbound. There's going to be a link down below in the description. And I want to encourage you to go follow or subscribe to that channel as well. I haven't posted anything there yet, so you're not going to see anything. But video content is coming on that Firmly Unbound page that is going to be different than RV walkthroughs. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail yet. Just know you're going to want to check it out. So go subscribe to that channel. It's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be different. It's going to be stuff that's you know, still tied to this industry and some other things as well that you're really gonna enjoy. So go subscribe to that channel. You have a solid step as you enter in and we see one of my favorite things that I'm loving for 2024 
and right now we have no power plugged to these RVs, so it's kind of hard to get power in here, but you do have these LED light strips here. Gosh, I hate that we just can't get like the real light, but these are gonna be light strips that go all the way down through this area. We just don't have power to this RV, so you can't really see their actual illumination and how strong they are, but these are gonna be light strips. You can see another one going across here. They have the dimmer switch on them as well, so we're seeing this in more products. Um, Y'all have seen me talk about that in the Grand Design Imagine line. For the 2024s, I filmed of those, but that is something I really like. Another very impressive feature, first of all, look at the size of this window, but not just the size. These are dual pane windows. So dual pane windows in a single axle travel trailer, love that. This has the bug screen that comes up from the bottom and then a privacy shade that comes down from the top. So really nice shade system here as well. Love that. Love this huge looking, you know, kind of front wall there. Very contrasted well with the color scheme and whatnot. And then this is gonna be a queen size bed here with wireless charging pads storage space down underneath here looks like okay there's an outlet down through there outlets on both sides actually those are probably for the wireless charging pads and then you have a vizio tv right there as you turn this way this does have a tankless on-demand water heater you have your ac controls here as well awning retract a couple light switches and then your dimmer switch for your led lights across the top you're gonna have a booth dinette table here, not too terribly large. This will also make into a bed if you need additional sleeping. You probably won't though, because you do have two bunks back here as well. You're having new cabinet colors for 2024 from Outback with this interesting design here in the glass of the cabinet as well. Last year, Outback actually had black cabinets, so big change for them for sure. Open this up and you have storage space through there. Soft clothes on those, so that is nice, like that. You're gonna have a stainless steel sink here. It's a square sink. Open this up, you have storage space through there, storage access, I guess. That's kind of an interesting, not really practical, but I guess it just makes this look symmetrical. And then pull out drawer there as well. You're gonna have a Furion three burner stove. Open this up, you have your oven, standard size RV oven, nothing crazy, but you do have a vent fan here to vent out smells and then storage up above here as well. Above your head, you have a max air vent fan, so a nice solid vent fan in addition to the vent here for when you're cooking. Again, I'm just blown away by the size of that window. It's letting in so much natural light into this space. Coming back this way, you have two bunks that are both rated for 300 pounds, and then you have big storage space down underneath there as well. From everything I can tell, I just, I can't. It does lift up, okay. This bed does lift. There it is right there. The latch is right underneath there. So you have to kind of get to that space to lift this bed, but this bed will lift up. This is going to give you a huge storage space. You could fit some pretty big items in here. When you flip this bed up, you're going to have outlets there. They are inverter prep. So those are going to run off your batteries because you do have the inverter prep to add a Wi-Fi router here as well. And then you have your single person bunk in this space here. So lots of additional sleeping. You have your AC here. The AC is a Furion AC and it is not ducted. So this is just going to dump down and kind of shoot air across the travel trailer there. You have a really good sized fridge. This is an Everchill 12 volt refrigerator and freezer, brand new. So everything is like, it's like it's never been opened before. And again, this is a new product line for 2024 from the Keystone Outback team. They've never done a single axle travel trailer before. Coming back this way, you have your toilet back through here, porcelain foot flush toilet, plenty of floor space in here. You're gonna have your storage right here. Look at that, a second max air vent fan. Even a lot of fifth wheels don't use two max air vent fans. So love to see that. You're gonna have a shower, tub, and sink combination in here. So you do get a nice about two foot deep tub or so. And then you have this right here that can use, be used as a sink or be used as a shower head connection as well. Skylight in here, plenty of room in the shower and you're gonna be able to do what you need to do. Ceiling height in here is probably about six foot five, six foot six. Yeah, I'd say probably six foot six. So you step in there, you probably have ceiling height for about six foot six, maybe six foot seven in the shower with the skylight. And as you come back out, couple other last things to look at. Your storage underneath the bed. So you have storage through there, storage here. Let's just check and make sure this is all identical. Magnet latches on these, so I prefer that. I like the magnet latch. That is nice. and. Yeah, you're gonna have storage up underneath here as well. Can see aluminum frame through there too. So that is your new Keystone Outback OBX travel trailer. 
Um, I think they're gonna have additional floor plans as well, but again, this is their 17 BH, and from what I'm hearing, the price point on this is gonna be just absolutely insane. So for having a single axle travel trailer with a lithium battery setup, 220 watts of solar, an inverter, and you have um, dual pane windows, independent suspension, I mean, this thing is just loaded with features. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm very curious your thoughts, and stay tuned for more video content from the Hershey RV Show. Until next time, live firmly on back.